Workers living in dormitories will now have more people to turn to for mental support. That's because all forward assurance and support team officers will be trained in psychological first aid. It's part of measures that a new task force focused on migrant workers' mental health is overseeing. Called Project Dawn, it includes health professionals from the Institute of Mental Health, as well as migrant help groups. Isabel Lim reports. It can cause a wide range of symptoms. And actually These 20 or so officers are taking a first aid course, not for the body, but for the mind. They'll be trained to recognize and help those in mental distress when they're deployed to the dorms where nearly 300,000 migrant workers live. This is really not training them to become a counsellor or even a power counsellor, but they become our eyes and ears on the ground to pick up cases. Uh, that's why we wanted to do primary prevention, prevention strategies, so that we pick them up before they escalate into serious cases. The mental health part itself uh, is important because um, in, in very close um, quarter type of uh, community living, and these people work, um, I mean, they are, they are thousands of miles away from home. Um, it's a new environment. And and the fact is that um, the, the, the work and also particularly this particular COVID-19 pandemic, I think it's triggered a lot of uh, apprehension, fears, worries. The training is just one of several measures being rolled out by the new task force. From next year, incoming workers will receive mental health education as part of a program they go through before they start work. They'll also have access to telecounseling, which can be booked online. And the organization responsible, HealthServe, is also looking to expand its offerings. We actually uh, started engaging the, some of the NGOs in their, from their own country. And we were in discussion about how to then do this collaboration effort. We definitely believe that the same culture will always be able to support uh, much better. So a person who understands the um, cultural nuances, the language, uh, he or she will be able to understand and express uh, help and give help much better. The work of the task force will span the next two years.